Well, everyone, here it is. I'm going to be responding to the first comments on my dad's or bad's video. Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Molesky. This is my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to respond to dads are bad. Let's do it now. First one, a miffled catfish. Talk to me about bad moms because my dad is a saint. Yep, there are bad moms. But don't you think that that deserves an entire video about the damage that single mothers are doing to society and the rah-rah attitude of most women about women being single mothers? You can do it. <laughs> Polska Bob. Jennifer identifies as a masculine presenting transgender lesbian. If you don't recognize that, you're a transphobe. Not a phobe. <laughs> just a, just a, just an opinionated person. Nothing funny like when you see, oh yeah, a lot of people like this. Nothing funny like when you see a mangina male feminist father have a shirt, have shirt, have woke as fuck and a pink hat. So you're saying like, men fathers who are feminists and teaching their children their young daughters that they're up against everything and they have it horrible is that what you're saying yeah that's i don't like that you look 10 of 10 thanks i like that i like this method of taking things to a logical conclusion but i was a bit disappointed yes i and that kind of goes back to the mangina in the pink hat um, there are many men who are just as brainwashed as women that are teaching their daughters that they're, we, the problem is we have equality and fathers aren't letting their children know that they're, they're letting them run around spoiled, petulant. I use that word a lot, but that's, that's what a lot of men are teaching their little girls to be more Doberman, please. You see that nutter? She has a bone. She's super excited about it. Wait, hold on. There. Zosha, are you a good girl? Yeah. She's fine. <laughs> She's a good girl. Oh, okay. I've been waiting to ask MGTOW and the incels the same kind of thing. So, and, and they got a lot of responses. He got a lot of responses. Kato got a lot of responses. And it's all different people from all different backgrounds. The thing with asking a MGTOW, MGTOW incel is you're going to get a million. If there's a hundred million MGTOW, you're going to get a hundred million different answers. But I understand it would be interesting if there was a study about the, maybe the history of the parenting or the history of their relationships, like what caused them to go over the edge and say, just, I'm done. I'm done. Angelus Umbra, Angelus Umbra had a good dad. Yeah. When you have a good dad, it can really help develop you to be a fine man and a fine woman. So congratulations on that. Archer Warhound says to play devil's advocate. This was pretty in depth, wasn't it? I think the, the end, the end point of his is that there's not a lot of morality in the current structure of our, um, of our world. And that that is screwing everything up. Archer Warhound, I think I might be wrong on that. And I just kind of read it quickly, which is a little rude. So I'm sorry about that. Dave Young, sadly, there are women out there that take this shit seriously. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised you made it for, without cracking up. <sighs> no, I edited some stuff out. Best part of the joke was when he stole the key from his mother. Like last year, I really like that because um, many of you know that I had the where's your masculinity and it's all about the key and the masculinity. Your masculinity, if you're a dude, is under your mother's key. You have to steal, steal that shit. Marry me, Jennifer. Another online proposal. All right, steal mongoose, I will. Uh, white men, but but I don't have a dad raised by two lesbians. Yet. Okay, so like Jordan Peterson talks about, sorry, I did I did mention him. I know that someone challenged me not to just once, but I did. Um, <clears throat> he talks about, we don't really see the effects yet. We don't know the effects yet of, of children raised by two men or two women. But it doesn't mean that it's not a valid concern or something to be watched, but the the woke people have already made up their minds. Like, no, 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 this is fine. This is good for society. So I'm just going to respond in that way. Bad puppy, 95% of the of the thought patterns. Yep. And then we should we should abort all male babies or eat them. I guess it's okay to eat them now, so that'll be fine. Uh, Chris Undermule, 
Uh, yeah, he's referring to the, the debate that I moderated last week. Someone said that um, being convinced, when you try to convince someone that it's aggressive, someone, uh, Rice Bitcoin just liked it. James Master, do the hamster again. Hamster, you have to say something nonsensical or at least something that I don't fully grasp. Q people telling me that I wouldn't understand anything because I'm a woman. Jamie Alton, um, if I, you know, I, I, I've said this before, but wouldn't it just be a joy if Trump came out as identifying as a woman? It would give everyone, what would they do? What would they even do? Kyle Rook. Hey, Kyle. I know. Yeah. It's like every, every fucking thing that, <laughs> that we do just builds the social construct of man and woman and, and it's, it's a very confusing time to be alive. That's why I make fun of it. Hey, I don't have the answers, people. I just like to mock. Um, yes, yes, that is how it works under this, under this way of thinking. Anyone that has a penis is your ally. Dev, Dev Fufu. Yeah, he's saying, like, there's a Joe, one of my favorite Joe Rogan comedy sketches is when he talks about how fucking stupid people actually are. And if, and if there was an EMP attack or something bad happened, no one, no, like, we don't know how that works. Everyone would just be confused. But he's saying that mostly women would be confused. Because really, there's more male inventors and whatnot. And if, if, if a feminist watched this, she might go, well, but that's because we haven't been allowed. Blah, blah, blah. And that might be true. I don't know. I don't know. Bob Bellard, without a dad, women would live in the street and be a prostitute. Maybe. Master Smith, there's some truth in being dumb because of our balls. Yeah, so if you're if you're a guy, sometimes you think with your peninsula. Uh, Jason Shriver, instant classic. I don't think so. Look at nobody liked it. Jason, nobody liked it because nobody agreed. See, dub. Oh, oh God, if I could just be as wonderful as JP. Uh, Trevor West, you kind of nailed it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it, it, men in general, but not any specific man that you love. Not any specific man that has nurtured you with money or love or anything. Rolf, with all due respect, your views on feminism are silly and inaccurate. Well, so feminism historically has got th the equality that we have today. Rolf, my big contention is we are finally equal, yet they, they, they don't want equality any longer. If they don't get a job, if they don't get this, if they don't get that, it's inequality. It's never, it's just like, it's just like the squad in Congress. If you, if you negate their point, then it's that you're racist. It's people, women put up this shield with color and, and, um, what's it called? Genitals that leaves them protected. And that's what the original feminist wanted to get rid of was the protection. So, so we are the ones who demanded, um, the, the discarding of the parental roles and the, the colleges said to us, okay, you know, the world is dangerous. We, we must protect you uh, against rape, okay? And, and what we said was, we want freedom. We want the freedom to risk rape. They wanted to risk all of the things that come with equality. And now that they have it, they're like, no, we don't want it anymore. That's not scary. Daddy issues, I'll bet. Um, and that was uh, destroyer. Destroy! And Steve. Okay, and that's that's a older one. Okay, that's it. Sorry, it wasn't it wasn't that eventful. Um, I'll blame me. I'm sorry, but it's still. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing this. Hey, um, I've been working on my Joker laugh. Tell me if you like it. <clears throat> I know I'm weird. All right. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll have a new video next week. If you want me to talk about something, tell me. 
Tell me what you want me to talk about. You want me to talk about how moms are poopy, stinky farts when they're single and how destructive they can be as well? Is that what you want? I can do that for you. All right, everyone, have a good day. Have a good day. It's snowing outside here in Colorado, and I'm going to make chili. What, what color? You guess in the comments, red or green. Peace. Have a good day.